Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Constance the Reader and it is the day after Christmas and even though I don't plan on taking my tree down this week, uh, I figured let me get a nice little, a little video with me and my tree and we're gonna go over the gifts that I got for Christmas. It was a nice little it's a nice little, nice little haul, if you will. As I said last month, I really wanted to not buy anything in the month of December so I could allow the people in my life who love me to get gifts for me. Now, I did buy things for myself, which we'll be going over in a different video, but I wanted to show you the gifts I got for Christmas. But I want to first start off with one of like the sweetest gifts that I got. I got a lot of really great gifts from my side of the family too, but I don't need to do a whole video on that. Uh, so my husband did 12 days of bookmas for me, where for 12 days he gave me books and every day he also gave me little letters. And on the day before Christmas, I got my last gift and then I had to decipher, have a little anagram situation <laughs> and I did get it, but I needed a lot of hints because I'm not very good at anagrams. And the the answer that it actually ended up being, I did guess that letter, I, I did guess that word, but I thought, why would that be the word? I thought it was gonna be something cute. <laughs> but all of this led to the real prize, which was hidden in the house. I'm not gonna show you uh, what it was because it's a it was a gift card and then my husband wrote it down, but I had to, it was the title of a book and that was just so cute. So it was in the back of a book. Uh, it showed the gift card like code. So that's why I will be doing another video of the stuff I bought in December because that's partly what I bought. I made an order to write stuff because my husband got me a gift card there and that was just so sweet. So I don't believe that I put these in order like for the day that I got them because I started to put them on my shelves and then I thought, hmm, let me make a stack. But these were all books that were on my Amazon wish list. And it was just so nice of him. So the first one of the first things that he gave me was Black Torch Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, don't know what it's about. Someone recommended it on TikTok. As you know, is my way. And they ended up on my wish list and I ended up getting them. So that was really exciting. These three were the ones I got the first day. And he also got me the first volume of Yu Yu Hakusho. I have not watched this. I did attempt it. I just, much like with the books, I'm also someone who watches things when I'm in the mood for them. And I just wasn't in the mood to watch this, but I have wanted to read it. This is also the same uh, creator of Hunter Hunter. So I did need it to watch it as well. So, these were the first three of the 12 days of book miss. Now they're definitely not going to be in order. Another situation where someone talked about this on TikTok and I said, why not? This is Mad K volumes one and volumes two. These are a BL. Uh, they are wrapped in plastic. So, you know, it's about to get either violent, freaky or both. Who knows? Don't know what this is about either. I don't know how many volumes are in the series, but if I end up liking these first two, I will be getting the rest. Next, this was a volume that I'd had on my uh, wish list for a really long time, and it was Happiness by Shuzo Oshimi. This is also by the creator of Flowers of Evil. This is like a vampire manga. I have heard mixed reviews about this series. Some people like it, some people don't. To be fair, I feel like I've seen more people not really be happy with it, but I think that they were expecting something different. And I'm not sure if this is, you know, less bloody, if it's like a slow burn. It seems like it might be more of a slow burn. I see some things at the very beginning that are kind of like, eee. uh, but that's okay. I'm excited. I can't wait to read this. I think that this might be a 12 volume series. It's, it's not like 27 volumes or anything. So if I end up liking it, I definitely want to collect it and read the whole thing. Next, he got me Shonen Note. This is by Yuki Kamatani. This is newer. This is something that someone uh, was talking about on TikTok. They had seen it randomly and they're like, I've never heard of this. 
I, I saw this at Barnes and Noble and I just think that's such a beautiful cover and I, I have to have it. And I was like, same, why not? I'm just gonna feel the same way about same way as you. Uh, this is beautiful, don't know what it's about. It looks like it's going to be like a, a nice little heartfelt situation. I don't need anything too intense. I've got enough of that on my plate. And you know what, so, just so I don't have to keep saying this, pretty much every single thing that my husband bought me, <laughs> I got them because someone mentioned them on TikTok. That's just the case. That's just how it is for me. Uh, and that's same thing with A School Frozen in Time. He got me both volumes one and two. Uh, someone was talking about this and it seemed so interesting. It's a story by Mizuki Tsujimaru, Tsujimura. And um, I, I believe that this is about uh, something happens and a certain like amount of kids are frozen in time in the school. And I think they have to discover uh what happened to another one of their classmates and it's so crazy because like i think i saw this at the very beginning of december and i put it on my wish list and i and my husband had a bunch of packages come and i really didn't i thought i put these on the list after he had bought a bunch of books which i he didn't you know come out and tell me that he was doing book miss but we had like talked about it randomly and then <laughs> A bunch of book shaped packages came in the mail and I was like well <laughs> this must be what it is so I was just surprised because I was so sure that I put this on my list after all those packages came he might have wisened up and got some delivered to his job he had to do that once before uh, he also got me sweetness and lightning this is by Giro Ama Amagakure and this is this was written by oh man okay I talked about a series that I got I think it might have been the girl in the galaxy possibly um I, I think it's that one and it mentioned this one as well that the creator made and I could be wrong so correct me if I'm wrong I'll look it up after this I'll put some words on the thing yes it was written by the same person I'm pretty sure this was written by the same person and it was mentioned and I was like, oh my god, this looks so sweet. So why not? So I, I wanted this. I had all of the volumes of Shiki Morty's Not Just a Cutie on my list. He got me the volume uh, one. Uh, somebody that works with me actually recommended that I read this. I also think that this is an anime and they wanted me to watch it actually. But um, yeah, I don't know what it's about. It looks very pretty. All of the covers are beautiful. It, it's a high school rom-com. So I'm interested. I want, I want fluffy things, you know, I think... I read a lot of uh, action fantasy stuff in between and I, you know, I need that rom-com sweet, you know, in the middle of it. He also got me the second uh, Hell, The Hellbound. Uh, this is more of like comic book style. You're not reading it like a manga where you start from the back. Uh, I haven't read the first one yet, but I'm, I'm probably not going to watch the show, even though I'm intrigued. I would definitely want to read it first. These are another, uh, these are another two volumes that I really thought I put these on my list after he had gotten the big order and that is Our Dreams at Dusk. He got me the first two volumes. These just looked so beautiful. Uh, this is by Yuki Kamatani and I don't know what they're about. Somebody recommended them and they look so beautiful. Uh, I have all volumes on my wish list and I think this is a shorter series unless there's just more to come but uh, I think I have like seven volumes on my wish list so it might be short it looks nice I, I this really art style kind of looks like the promised neverland i'm not sure if it's by the same person uh i have no clue but it definitely that's what it's giving me and, and i like it it's beautiful okay so do ra 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 i think that's what it is <laughs> uh i this was on my wish list for a long time too someone recommended this i also think that this is a show and i thought mm, I, this looks kind of good um it seems like it's really hard to find volume two in the series. I was looking it up on Right Stuff and you can get three and four, but you can't get two. It's out of stock. I think if you want to buy it on Amazon uh, as third party, it's extremely expensive. So um, I have the first volume. I'll see if I like it. It only seems like there's like not that many for this series. So if I collect it, we'll see. Next up, I accidentally put a light novel on my wish list, but you know what? I actually, I've been considering if I want to get into light novels or not. 
Uh, the bleach light novels look really good, but I was like, ah, you know, should I, sh should I, shouldn't I? Why the fuck not? So the detective is already dead. I actually put the manga on my list as well, but I, I didn't realize that this was a light novel at the time, but I'm excited to read it. And like I said, I, I think I actually might get into light novels. I mean, this, these are seem really, really short. It's like less than 200 pages. And y'all know that I, I do not care. I count manga as a, as a book for my reading challenge. You don't have to like it on my books just fell. Um, but I do. <laughs> and that's all that matters to me. And then he got me The Detective Is Already Dead, the manga. So this is the second one. So I need to go back and get the first The Detective Is Already Dead because the light, this is the light novel. That's the thing that can be confusing is that you can have the manga version and the light novel version. I almost got confused on that one time before and ordered the wrong thing. So I'm gonna have to get the first manga, but it's okay. I'm excited to read it. And lastly, The Flowers of Evil uh complete by shuzu oshimi this is the same person i recently just mentioned happiness uh this is like something that tons of people recommend on tiktok and i don't know what it's about i think it's i'm not sure if this is completely like a horror genre or not um it looks pretty freaky i mean there's an eyeball flower i think it's going to be something that's going to be like very menacing uh mysterious it might not be outright horror, like, oh my god, there's blood and guts. Well, this looks disgusting. But I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. So these were the, all the volumes that my husband got me. He also got me one other volume, but he's going to have to return it. He got me the 12th volume of Blue Exorcist off of Amazon. I did forget to take that off of my Amazon wish list. I actually got that off of Right Stuff. Uh, when it became available. So I hope that he didn't end up paying too much on Amazon because it was inexpensive on right stuff. But I don't think you can return things on right stuff. And either way, it's already been put on the shelf. So therefore, you know, my copy's on the shelf. That means it's here to stay. It's a lot easier to return to, to Amazon, let's be honest. And next are all the books that I got from my husband's family uh, for Christmas, which was so kind of them. I really appreciate it. My family did make, bake, or grow for Christmas, so we made things for each other. My parents did so freaking much for Christmas. Now, they did buy a few things, but they bought things that we then would make. So they bought us terrariums, and they got us all the supplies so we could make our own terrariums. They made us limoncello. Oh my god, they made us shirts that had like these really nice like... Oh man, I can't remember what it was called but it was like the color like your power color or like your aura color so they chose like either our favorite color so my husband's favorite color is orange um or like a color that reminded them of like myself my husband my sister and her boyfriend and they had like these really nice things on them it's very sweet uh so we did that kind of stuff for each other this is what his family got me which was so kind uh, so one of the first books I got was Connecting with Autism Spectrum, How to Talk, How to Listen, and Why You Shouldn't Call It High Functioning by Casey Remrov Vormer. Also got Children of the Whales, Volume 6. Now his grandma got me this one and I think that she said that something was arriving late and I'm pretty sure she got me the other volumes like up to 10 for this one so I may have more if not, it is what it is, but I'll just go ahead and say possibly that I may have like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four other volumes that would have been in this pack. I'm not sure, but exciting. I just need to start it. That's for sure. Then I got the big, <laughs> almost all the rest of Sweat and Soap. I just need volume 11. I am excited to continue this series. Uh, I think this was really like my first time for myself purchasing something that's more on the romance side of things and I kind of put it down because I didn't know if I wanted to keep collecting it and I thought you know what let me put this on my wish list because I feel like I, it will be given to me for Christmas so I'm really excited to finish the series again I just need volume 11 which I'm gonna buy myself and um <laughs> exciting next I was given the Savior's Book Cafe Story in Another World volume two and three I recently got the first volume, I think last month. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm not sure how long this one is gonna be because I do believe there are there's something that's coming out. I think there was a pre-order on Right Stuff 
but I'm excited. And then I also got volumes three, four, and five of Hell's Paradise. So I recently read the first volume. I thought it was really good. Oh, there's something on this. There was a this stick of residue. Get that off of there. Uh, I recently read the first volume. Yikes, holy God. I mean, it's definitely really interesting. Uh, this is gonna be an anime soon. I think it's coming out next year. I'm really, really intrigued to see what it looks like as an anime because it's a very gory, bloody manga and story. I, I, and I haven't even read the second volume, which I do have. I, I think it's gonna be one of those things that's gonna definitely make me feel like, you know, <laughs> a little body horror as a spoiler, just to let you know. But yes, I'm excited. I think this is a complete series of 12 or so volumes. So I will be getting more of them. I just keep hearing good things about Hell's Paradise in terms of it just being like a really solid story. So I will definitely be liking that. And yeah, so those are all the books I was gifted for Christmas. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up because my back is killing me. I should not have done this on the floor. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, but I really wanted to film in front of my tree. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Any of these you think that I should get to first at the beginning of the year, let me know down in the comments. I hope all of y'all had a great holiday, whether you were celebrating it with your family and friends or you were celebrating it alone. Uh, please have a good day. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you like, like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know the drill. Follow me on the other social media. Have a good day. Goodbye.